Dark Island. The fourth episode in Robert Barr's story of espionage in the remote islands of the Outer Hebrides. Nicholson has found a signal post in an old Viking grave on a lonely and dangerous shore, Can Trai. He's radioed its position to Grant. But emerging from the dugout, he's been ambushed by armed men who've landed on the beach from a Russian trawler. He's been hunted by them across the sand dunes and shot. Grant calls repeatedly to Nicholson on the personal radio, but there's no reply. And he sets out next morning with Major Williams and Ian McLeod to search for him. Ian! Over here. Have you found any trace of him? No. There's always the chance they took him away with them. Yeah, there's always that chance. If he was here, as you say... He was here, at this spot, when he was first hit. Well, in the dark, it would have been best for him to run that way through the sand dunes under cover. Yeah. How far do you think it would have got before you lost contact? Well, it was only a few minutes. Well, I'll search in that direction. Oh, the Major's coming. I'll carry on. Captain Grant. Yes, sir. You've been inside the grave? Uh, not yet, sir. Well, it's just as Nicholson described it to you. A complete signal post dug into the sand dunes. On a deserted beach like this, it, it must have taken months to make. Generators, power, signal lamps. Mr. Grant! Come here, will you? Quick! Excuse me, sir. Over here, Mr. Gant. Is it Jim? Aye. There's still a bit of a pulse, but not much. You have to do something quickly. Get the Major, will you? Aye. Major Williams! He's coming. What's this, Ian? My whiskey flask. I left it with him. Oh? Aye. It's empty now. Oh, he'd need it all for the pain. Have you found him, Grant? Yes, he's unconscious, sir. Very weak. Two bullet wounds. Oh, look after him, poor devil. I'll arrange to have him taken out of here. Sergeant, over here. That may take too long, Mr. Grant. The only road is more than six miles away. Well, Ian, let's hope he can stand it. He's the only one who can tell us anything. London, sir. The big here. Thank you. William speaking, sir. Uh, did you get my report, sir? I've just received it. What did you say, sir? Bad line, this. I said I've just received it. Have you found Nicholson yet? Uh, yes, sir. He's in hospital now. The doctor's report's not too good, as well as can be expected. Who is this damn doctor? Uh, uh, Dr. McKenzie, sir. I've had a word with him on security, uh, but something else has happened, sir. What? Nicholson described four men as being with the boat, one on guard and three hunting him. Well, we have one of them. Good. He stayed on the island, went to the schoolhouse and asked for asylum. Did he? Yes. A, a young lad, about 20. Uh, could you send an interpreter, sir? Uh, yes, of course, as soon as I can. Good. Only Grant isn't too strong on Russian, but uh, uh, meantime, he's, he's going to have a try. So, this is the prisoner? Yes, sir. All right, you stand up. Uh, he doesn't understand English, sir. We've tried. We'll see. What's your name? I am a seaman, sailor, a hare for freedom. That's all he says, sir. I am seaman, sailor, a hare for freedom. Yeah, they didn't give Nicholson much chance of freedom. Tin is naish kto strilal. Niet. Hmm. Says he doesn't know anything about the shooting. Well, I think he's a liar, sir. Onko vrit što ti vrioš? Niet, ja govoriu pravdu. A čevo ti prišol suda? Ja prišol svobodni mir. Ja hoću biti svobodnim. What's he say, sir? I can't altogether follow him. He says he came here to be free. Don't let him out of your sight till the interpreter arrives. No, sir. And tell Major Williams that I've gone to see Mr. Nicholson. Yes, sir. Mr. Grant. Oh, thank you, Doctor. Well, you're under heavy protection, old chap. 
Here, you weren't much help last night, were you? With the radio, how could I be? You get yourself shot at on Dorica and hit twice on Can Try. I can't be everywhere. No, they tell me it was a dangerous game. I brought you some thrillers. I oh, take good. it you from Reed. Yes. Look, um, now that I'm full of bullet holes, perhaps your brigadier will allow you to tell me what it's all about. I'll tell you without his permission, but let's take first things first. You gave me a description of the four men who came ashore. Black peaked caps. Baltic style. That's right. Black sea jerseys, dark trousers and sea boots. One guarding the boat, three hunting you. Yeah. We have one of them, dressed as you said. A young lad, aged about 20. Young. Yeah. Oh, that'll be the one who was guarding the boat. He looked like a lad. The others were big chaps. They were spread out, making a sweep. Why didn't they find me? Well, you were in a sort of hollow in the dunes. You'd uh, finished a flask of whiskey. <laughs> yes, I, yes, I remember that. <laughs> it was so damn cold. Tell me about this young lad, Bill. Well, we're waiting for an interpreter. Seems he stayed ashore. Gave himself up in the morning at the schoolhouse asking for asylum. For the schoolhouse? Does that mean something to you? It might. Now, answer my question. What's it all about? Yeah. Well, it's been a puzzle for a year, Jim. But the pieces are beginning to fit together at last. The finding of the container was a very important piece. First piece? No, no, not the first. We'll, we'll come to that. It's been known for several years that some of the foreign trawlers patrolling off the Western Isles are spy ships. They stay put out there in all weathers, whether there are fish there or not. They have a right to be there. They're on the high seas. Ostensibly, they're fishing. Actually, they're watching the rocket range. Mm. Now we know that some of them are engaged in a very dangerous operation. The finding of the container told us that. So did the signalling. And the attack on you. There's someone in touch with the trawlers. I know that. It's a reception party of some kind. Yeah, there has to be a reception party. But for the moment, we must let them get on with it because there's something more important at the end. For a long time, and with infinite patience... We've been trying to break the spy rings inside the UK. Ah. Now, from time to time, we've had some success. But in other equally important directions, in this last year, we've had failures. Come up against a blank wall. How's that? Well, we'd penetrate a network, link by link, and then, unexpectedly, the next link in the chain, the important one, would just vanish. Now, in this game, both sides usually know what's happening. One side takes steps to stop the bolt holes. The other side tries to arrange new ones. We thought we'd stop them all. But suddenly, these people, the... Well, the next in line would just vanish. No trace of them at airports or at any frontier on the continent. I see. When you found this container, it had two important items. There was the usual money to pay the reception committee and spares for transmitters and so on. But there was also foreign money and a foreign passport. The passport was not for leaving Britain, oh. but it was for entry into another country. Yes, I think I've got it. Yeah. Whoever the passport was meant for is simply to come here, get aboard one of the trawlers, be taken straight behind the Iron Curtain. Exactly. It's no longer necessary for a spy to risk crossing frontiers. An escape route. Yeah, a reception party, an escape route, and very well organized. That container wasn't the first to arrive. There was part of one in that signal post. No doubt when we find the other signal post, there will be part of another. How many more have come? Well, I don't know. Well, the islands are so deserted, so remote, it would be easy for anyone to come here from anywhere and be taken away. All arranged by the reception group. We've uh, one or two good suspects. Swanson, who brings people up here for fishing trips. The colonel, who owns a quiet island. His niece, Mary Summers. Alec Thompson, who was a trawlerman. And who was killed. Yes. Hmm. Oh, Jim, take a look at these photographs again. Tell me if you've ever seen any of the people in any of the pictures on these islands. Ah, oh, come in, in. Nice to see you. The doctor said I could see you. How do you feel? Oh, not so bad. I have to thank you for coming back for me. Well, I warned you, but I said I'd come back. Oh, I've uh, brought you a present. Oh. I filled the flask for you. <laughs> I think it saved my life, Ian. Aye. So I want you to keep it. 
Thanks very much. Look, Ian, while you're here, would you take a look at these photographs? Uh, they're just street snaps, people passing. I want you to look at each snap and tell me if you've seen any of the people before. No, I... Uh, is this one Mr. Swanson? Behind the woman? Do you think it is? Mm, could be. Not very clear. Oh, yeah, I know these two lads. It's the two I told you about, Jim, the university students. Oh, yeah? The ones whose boat was found upturned on Sula. Where did you get this, Mr. Grant? Tell me about them, Ian. Well, they came here last summer for the fishing. Mr. Nolan and Mr. Peter, on holiday from the university. Uh, they wanted to take our boat out one evening off the west shore. I warned them, but they wouldn't be told. Next morning, the boat was found upturned and smashed on Sula. And the two lads? Well, don't. When was this? Last summer. A year ago? Ah. Thank you, Ian. Jim. That photograph was taken three months ago. What? In Warsaw. In Warsaw? Let's see. Their names are Nolan and Peters, but they were not university students. Thank you, Ian. Uh, look, Jim and I have got something to talk about. Don't mind just... Uh... Oh, I, oh, I've got say. Uh, will I be seeing you at the hotel? Yes, this evening. Look after yourself, Jim. Come and see you tomorrow. Bye, Ian. And uh, thanks again for the flowers. Ah, it was nothing. When did he tell you about those two lads? Last night. It was just a cautionary tale about how dangerous the Western Shore is. We were close on their tails about a year ago. They just vanished. It seems they came up here and are now safely away. And their boat was returned, smashed. I thought Ian was just trying to keep me off that beach. Yes, yeah, so did I. You suspected him? Mm. Yes, I did for a time. The way he came back this morning to search for you. He's worried having left you there. I trust him. Well, you'll have to. We won't get far without him. Mm, that's true. Well, it's no longer a supposition. He's given us the first positive lead. Yes. We have a passport that was sent for the next one out, just waiting for a photograph and a name, and there is a Dr. Lawrence due up here at any time. Do you know him? No. No, the name means nothing as yet. But I think it's time we put the passport to work. I'm going to see your friend, Miss Summers. Bill, yeah? you think the passport is for Dr. Lawrence? Well, he hasn't arrived. It could be used for anyone the syndicate thinks is in danger. I am going to put Miss Summers in danger. I thought you didn't take risks. Well, if you will get yourself into trouble, old chap, what else can I do? <laughs> afternoon, Miss Summers. I didn't see you at the hotel this morning. No, I thought you'd gone to your island. Not today. I'm going to find my uncle. He's gone down to the harbour trying to buy a boat. I thought he had a boat. It was hired from Eric Swanson with Alec Thompson to handle it. Now that Alec's gone, Swanson won't let him have it. So he's going to buy one? Yes. Let's walk along the beach. Right. Holiday, Mr. Grant? Yes. Have you come for the fishing? Or the shooting? I'm afraid I don't fish. Or shoot. What do you do? Rest. Uh, my doctor said I needed rest and lots of quiet. You're from London? Yes. Oh, but he's a Scots doctor, so he suggested I came up here. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been ill? No, no. No, I was just overworked. And what is your work? Hmm? I'm an engineer. Ah, you know about engines? Yes. If my uncle does buy a boat, will you help us? I know about engines, but not much about navigation. I'm told you have to know these waters very well. Oh, I know how to get there, if you can manage the engine. What happened to Alec Thompson? He, um, he had a row with my uncle and went off. Eric Swanson says he'll be back. 
But your uncle won't wait. <laughs> Uncle's very sweet, but he's very impatient. Um, just a moment. Mm-hmm. What is it? <laughs> yes, I can see him from here. Down at the key, see? I think he's still haggling about a boat. Uh, do you mind if we wait here? Mm? Oh, no, not at all. It's a nice day for doing nothing. For resting? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> You think your uncle's buying that boat? The one tied up at the quay? Trying to buy it. It's rather a big one, isn't it? Oh, uncle doesn't know much about boats, and he's very impatient. He'll take anything he can get. Well, wouldn't that one be rather well, difficult to handle? No, these island boats are very safe. And if you don't fish, you must find something to do. Yes, yes, it's rather quiet here. Do you like it? <laughs> Not really. It bores me, rather. There isn't much company on the islands. No, no, there isn't, is there? If you're going to help us, Mr. Grant, what's your first name? Bill. I'm Mary Summers. I'm glad to meet you, Mary. I've been a bit lost for company myself. Look, if your uncle's still busy with his boat, how about going back to the hotel for a drink? I'd like that. Mr. Nicholson. Yes, Doctor? Major Williams to see you. Oh, splendid. Let them all come. Are you sure? You've had two visitors already. Oh, I feel all right. Show them in. As you wish. Major Williams. Thank you. Well, how are you feeling, Jim? Getting better by the minute. Oh, good. Well, some of your things. We took everything from your pockets that might identify you and... Well, I thought you might need some of them now. Cigarettes, lighter. Ah, yeah. thanks very much. Oh, did you bring the chart I was marking? Yes. Here it is. Good. Yes, here's the signal post I visited. Uh-huh. It's the one the signals were made from to the trawler. Now, if the Dorica Beach is the target point, the trawler would require two signal posts, one north and one south of the position, in order to get a proper bearing on the beach by night. Uh-huh. Well, the one we found is to the south, so the other one should be to the north, and it shouldn't be too difficult to plot. Yeah, I agree. We jumped ahead of you. <laughs> Did a bit of chart work myself this morning. I looked for another suitable point on shore and for another old Viking grave. And there it is. It's perfectly. Good Lord. It's on the Colonel's Island, on Dorica. That's right. To the north of the beach where the container was supposed to land. Are you going to search it? No, not yet. No, the orders from London are to... Watch and wait. Have you spoken to the brigadier? Mm-hmm. Oh, naturally, he asked about you. Mm. He said that while you're in here, Bill Grant must take over the investigation and keep it going. He already has. Oh. Well, where is he? He's gone back to the little hotel. He's interested in the passport business, and he wants to put Mary Summers at risk. Oh, I think that's a good idea. Why? Well, the organization's been too cosy. I was upset a few days ago, but... Well, it must be upset again. On instructions? Instructions from London. Ah. They say something will happen soon. Well, it's it's too late to have suspects. We must know who to watch, and we need some action. Well, why not Swanson? Why choose her? Well, she's more likely to make a mistake. Well, the last time a mistake was made, Thompson got killed. Uh, he was a menial. She may be more important. A girl? Her uncle may be more important. Ah, uh, yeah. So when she feels she's suspect at such an important time, they'll have to do something quickly. I wish I was out of here. I'll keep you in touch. You just concentrate on getting better. And you'll be staying for another week, Bill. Oh, perhaps a little longer. Well, here's to your rest cure. Thank you. Excuse me, Miss Summers. Yes? Your uncle has just returned. He wants to see you in his room. Now? Aye. He asked me to say so. Would you forgive me, Bill? See you later. Yes, of course. I don't suppose I'll be long. May I have a word with you, Mr. Grant? Is it about my room? Aye. As you know, it was booked for another guest who hadn't come. Dr. Lawrence? Aye. Well, I've had a word with Mr. Swanson, and it seems he's coming tomorrow. So after tonight... I have to move. Uh, Now, don't worry. I'll find you a place. Oh, that's very kind of you. Ian McLeod's in the bar. He was asking for you. Oh, thanks. I'll join him. Oh, there you are, Bill. You were looking for me, Ian? Aye. 
Uh, will you have one? Uh, not just now, thanks. I've been having one with uh, Miss Summers. Oh, uh, a nice lassie. Yeah, mm, she is. Um, I have some news for you, Bill. I was up at the loch an earlier. Loch? Ah, the bee loch, doing some fishing. And I was using a net. It got caught on something and I pulled it ashore. I think it's part of one of these torpedo things. A container? Yeah. Have you got your car? It's outside. I'll take you there. It's only three miles in land. It's just over the brow there. Not far. If you pull in here. I tied a line to it and threw it back. I'll get it out for you. <clears throat> ah, there you are. What do you think? At first I thought it might be something left over from the war. Uh, it's part of a container, all right. Without the motor. Could you judge how long it's been in there? Oh, well, by the look of it and the weed growing on it, I'd say it's been there... All through the winter, eight or nine months. So they've been at this for a long time. Aye. Uh, Look, Ian. Tonight at the hotel, I... I want you to help me with something. I'd be more than pleased to. There may be a bit of a risk. What sort of risk? Well, as a fisherman, you should know. When you set a trap, you can get caught in it yourself. Oh, I... <laughs> Let's throw this thing back in the water. Good evening, Mr. Grant. Good evening, Miss McCauley. Have you seen Miss Summers? She went out about an hour ago with her uncle. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, well, I'll probably see her later. There's a good crowd in the bar tonight, Mr. Grant. Ian McLeod's there. Ah, oh, good. I want to see him. I'm thinking of taking up fishing. Is that so? After you, Mr. Grant. Ah, oh, hello, Ian. Oh, hello, Bill. Um, do, you, do you know my cousin Davy? Davy McNeil. Hello, Davy. Okay, I was just ordering. What will you have? With I'll, I'll have a whiskey. Uh, three large whiskies. I, I was telling Ian about the Russian. What Russian? A damn great Russian. Ah, he was uh, just a wee young Russian, Davy. He was not. He was a damn great big Russian. He goes up to the wee schoolhouse and do you know what he says? He says it to Katie Kennedy. He says, Solomon. Freedom. He says it in English. And he's a, a damn great big Russian. He's a wee Russian, Dave. He's not. Yeah, do you know what I think? I think he's off one of them damn trawlers. Ah, well, maybe. Yeah. Here, Ian. Watch my drink. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> it's all over the island about him giving himself up. Would be. He went to the schoolhouse. Ian, I was watching Swanson and his party over there. They didn't seem interested in what your cousin was saying. Well, Swanson was asking where the lad was. Does he know? No. While they're down here, and while the Colonel and Mary are out, I want you to slip upstairs with me to my room. This is it? Yes. This is my room for one more night. I want you to wait here and listen. I have something to do with uh, this. Hmm? A passport? Hmm. It was in the container. A foreign passport. No photo, no name, but visaed. I'm going to plant it in one of the bedrooms. Now, let me get this right. Swanson's room is next door. Then the Colonel's room. And officer of the Colonel's the girls, right? Eh? Can you handle a gun, Ian? Yes. Yeah, you may need it. Slip the safety catch when I go out and keep listening. When I get back, I'll tap twice on the door. Someone. 
someone's going to get a surprise. And I want to know what happens. Leave the door ajar. Good night, Mr. Swanson. Good night. be the first to know. Give me the gun, Ian. Right, Ian. Now, I want you to leave. Will you be all right? Yes, I'll be all right, sure. What are you going to do? Just stand here and listen. And take what action may be necessary. Good night, Ian. Good night. Go quietly. Right. Good luck, Bill. was the fourth episode of The Dark Island by Robert Barr, with Edward D'Souza as Jim Nicholson, Geoffrey Frederick as Bill Grant, and Bryden Murdoch, Ian McLeod. Listen to the next episode of The Dark Island, produced for the BBC by Peter Titheridge.